This conference will now be recorded. Will now be recorded. Hi team, welcome back. Um, day 10 for our Python training, day 20 for our Python training. Maybe we're towards the end of it. Today I want to talk, continue to talk about JSON, how we are reading the API data uh, from different websites using our requests. So this will be very important for us team on how we look at it from a code perspective. So let's go back to our code. Yesterday, I believe we saw how request.in works. If I'm not wrong, was it yesterday, team? Come on. Um, yes, not yesterday. Previous session, right? Day before yesterday, yeah. So where we were able to play around on a web UI front end. And then we went to Postman and we created a collection with uh, three api requests Did you all get a chance to work on them if not please work on it practically it'll really help us team so what is important for us is our uh, team if there are any other questions on other things i can take that before we go on with uh, the session i get an error json version and cdci what is this are you talking about other topics? We will cover them, not as part of the Python training anymore. Okay. From a Python perspective, today we'll have the last thing. Right? Um, so there are a few more topics like CI, CD, GitHub, Jenkins. Yes, in two weeks, team. As I also get the Java team into it, it'll be easy because then you can also join the Selenium web driver. Okay. And there was one more. I so Suresh, you're getting an error in JSON, is it? Didn't okay. go over fine for you. Let's look at summarize this. Maybe look at what error it is and see if we can fix it. Okay. Um, so we were talking about that we can send a request. It could be get to get some information back. It could be post to create data there or patch or put or delete and as you expertise in api testing or api programming overall team you can build your expertise but pretty much it revolves around these four or five commands for us now the response the way it comes is in the json format okay team okay so let me get back to the session and focus on this one please and then uh, we can we'll look into troubleshooting sessions again because we don't have access all right, sorry, I get deviated when I see those messages. Um, so Postman was interesting to me. Instead of us looking at it in a web UI, this tool is so simple. I could create the requests here and push them onto using get, post, or post, and so on. So why is this still saying get here? This is a post. Um, you, see, you know what I'm talking about, right, team? This word here, why is it showing get while this is a post request? Same here. There's so many close all times. Say changes for sure. There's no save to all. Ah, now do you see? When I saved it, it is appearing there. Oh, there we go. Okay. So here are all my requests. This is the first one get, 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 then post, post. Let's quickly run them to. Meeting. 
looks like we're on I lost team audible everyone I'm back I lost connection for a while okay so uh, yes thank you so now uh, when we send a responsive we I got that I could not get any response here 200 okay and we got this uh, for one users and so on so user 23 did not exist maybe in 404 not found the same user 12 or 11 i think we were getting okay with the data so the data that we were getting is in a json format okay so that is key team now in a post method what we are doing in the body we are sending the content and when we send that as a post, it will tell us, okay, am I able to log in or not? It says error, missing password. So here, yesterday, comma, password, I don't remember the exact. So this have to be exact name things because the key value pair. Some junk. I don't even know if it is verifying it. I'll resend. Okay, now I got a token. It must be a successful one. Hopefully, that says that oh, you know what? You as long as this token is valid, you can stay logged into the application. This is how applications are talking to each other because you know your content is distributed, your database are distributed. So there's a lot of interaction. How do we verify who is authenticated to see what? Simplest way to look at is your banking applications team. When you log in there, you'll see. What is happening there and what we can do? Okay. Now, the, what is this doing? Let's send register. And for register, we have a body. See, we missing email or username. So enter the email and it will work fine. So that's privately what how we can do whatever we are working with on post -manty. So now we switched to JSON. So JSON. Primarily, the fact that um, here's a dictionary, right? And here is a JSON format. Here's my dictionary. Why do I have so many files? Oof. And we're looking at JSON formats. Okay. This should be interesting. Let's look at that uh, file itself thing where we had put everything. So is it still open? So there we go. So I have a file called JSON2. Remember, let's quickly open this that way. Uh, so here's the content inside a team. Again, let's do JSON1. So here I said, this is one content. There is a key called data, and it by itself has a JSON content. Or what we are also called calling as dictionaries in our um, so this concept is the same ID value sorry key value key value key value pair that is the way it works and at any point you are able to read the content from it so here we have a JSON that is there within the program itself team. Here, I'm reading it from an external source. At, at any point, I can read the content from it. So what were we reading here? Let's see, this is the latest one, right? JSON 2. I don't think I did anything after that. Okay. Um, so the first one is JSON.loads. When I said J1, I have the content within my code as a in its own format. Let's run this. I 
Let's connect the one there. Okay. We come to the issue, but let me. Uh, oops, <laughs> I'm talking too much. It's a bug I'm just trying to focus on the first one. We can go to the second one. Okay. Someone asked me in the session also to repeat. So, okay. so see, all the content that we are putting in here within by itself is this, uh, which one are we printing first? Print type of J1, then here print here. So J1 has this content here too, and I can print whatever it is. But when I say JSON dot loads, it converts this specific content that we gave with single quotes, curl brackets and so on into a JSON format and when then I print print type my JSON I'm able to see what type it is and it says it's a dictionary so it's basically it's got it into something that you can read now um, it can go about as a normal dictionary how we behave the same thing if it is there in a JSON file externally you can put it up or this way too. So now what we're talking about, let's practice a little bit more using how we do regular API commands and uh, using our code. And also requests.in and so on, some of those. What is this 44, right? So think, like, like I was talking about that all of this are requests that we're getting to we call them as requests and the entire data that whatever format it comes for us but we start with the import concept of requests what this does is it lets us look at any website and read content from it let's say i have a request one now this is exactly very similar to what you've seen in postman but from a coding point of view. so if i say request it's already recognized for us and when you rip install request Team, I did have to because I thought it was already there in the system. I've done a pip install request team. So that should get us the latest way to connect and start reading doing all our API programming testing. Now you see get post put delete all of this would be there available for us so when i say request.get the first thing that goes in as a parameter is your url and then you can give additional parameters to you if the url supports it so even if i give a simple one to https colon slash slash let us say itlearn.com and print whatever is coming here in this request let's see what it tells me it should at least give me the status code information so response is 200 now let's say there is an unknown website for example and i run this What happened? You gave me too much. Okay. 
had an issue basically connecting or being able to resolve to it. I thought at least it will give me a bad request. Um, but it threw me out totally. Let's undo this and rerun once please. For the same thing, we could repeat on any website theme. I'll say rec2, for example, else request dot get. Let's say we go to google.com. Leave you have to give the complete address team. And I will print rec2. And let's see now. We are able to at least ping. That's what it means. Ah, what happened here? Didn't it didn't go to Google dot <laughs> I entered an incorrect loyalty. So that's why it changed. So both have responded with you know requests. Now if I want specifically certain information in it, so for example, in REC2, I can look at all this content that is there here. So remember what we were seeing in here, not here, in Postman. So if I say I want to get this specific data, I know that I'll get status code, I'll get a body, uh, there's a header information that will be there that typically comes with it and so so there's content that comes to you. So let's look at how we can dig into the content. So like two dot, uh, one of the first important one is status quo. So I can always program it and say if, and let's see what it prints out first. takes time because it's connecting to them and it prints so you can always program it and say if like to dot status underscore four is equal to 200 then we print and say all's good so that basically tells gives me a control team how i can say what to do depending on the status of now, let's say I had a rec three. Um, let's copy this. I'm just experimenting with myself for the control the way this would work, and making sure there's something somewhat said that doesn't exist. And it cannot print the whole thing, but <laughs> the status. So we're only looking at the status code for now. Um, we will go back to request.in. Request.in is also a web application team. It's just a simple one for us to play around. What is important for us is the import request and so on. See, it's just unable to connect to it. To be able to get any kind of information and that's where you constantly we use try catch box team so rec status underscore port just this is not enough for us team now let's look at what we've already been doing here so i have a get command here so i'm going to try and take this url and put that there and I know that it will be able to print me some details. Let's see what it gets for me first. And then I want to be able to see this data also. You see, it's basically saying response is 200, response 200. But where's my data? Remember I said, All's good is come, so that's what we're looking at. If it is 200, then I want to make three dot 
um adjacent i'm assuming t and i'll print that and else and rectory dot json if it still exists so this user 12 existing so that should come up let's see if it gives me the data ah there you go beautiful so this is for Rachel and her ID is 12. Now I change this to let us say 8. So all the content that I need right now is only going in the format of URL. I'm able to still get the data. So all's good. Um, and this is Lindsay and she's got her details here. So that's all good. Now I've got my JSON data all in this place. So I can then save it to file medium printing. Actually, let's do one thing. Let's do a post first and then we'll do a get up. I think I'll need one more class at least because this itself will take some time. So there's a post which was working fine, right? Send this and it'll give us a 200 OK and a token. So we get this post. So this is my JSON data, right? For the post. So my JSON data, let's assume that I'll put it here. So that's my data. I'm going to save it as um, what's the name of this? Like this. This is evil. Chase. All files and save it as evil. Now, my file is here, team. I'm very, getting very tired by this time. Ah, oh, Jason. That's mine. So, Jason is here and and here I'm going to make use of this. We are doing a total post here. Post, and we give URL data and the JSON itself to that we want to post. So remember, this is going in as the body. So if I give the file itself, I think it should be able to take and post it. And what response will get? We'll get it as a token after the post. So that's dot post.
was folded because we didn't give it the data. And now, Python request post JSON. File, file, files, and there's anything. Why do they write code like this? Files supposed to files. That's exactly so that's going to happen again. It equals to open JSON. Okay, so I can say data equals and then address equals header. Equals JSON data. I think that's all I require. Let's see the runs first. Oh, it did because it gave me the details. Is this right? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but what do I have here? Eve hold. So it should print. No, it did not. So this was coming from here. Not all three are valid. So you are in file equals files, data equals data, headers equal to headers. So you are in files equals to files, data. So this is data that I'm giving. So let's try with data. You see, is data equals to JSON data. Let's say data one equals whatever is there here. So that's data one. This is a format to which I'm sending the actual data itself. Okay. And that's fine for us. So if I said data, then I said data one. And it should send this specific one to this. If I'm sending files, I can send the files. And say file equals to something. There is the pin. Ah, there we go. Two hundred is good. So that means using this, this worked for us. Oops, sorry. No need for anything other than the URL thing, unless it is essential. Now, see that is because my data is here. So I could say data. Now I'm saying my data is elsewhere in a JSON file. Then here I'll say files equals JSON. Come on, data. 
this is the first file. Okay, the printed response. Let's print up to the one So whenever things are, if it's not working team, this is the only way I can make sure I can do something about it. So that's a JSON file, evolve. It has the content that we need. So the data is correct. I don't think there is any problem with the data. What was the issue that's coming out for us? Um, token has come from the first one. I don't know which one is running team. Data. Once you get the basic skeleton program right, then it'll be easy. Right. So it says there are too many values to unpack. Okay. Uh, JSON data. I think it has to be in that. If I don't have anything, then. Give me one second, team. Let me see if I have anything. Post with time to post from it. Don't see anything here. Post that I've done earlier. This is not there. Yeah. I'm looking at one more machine team. Give me a minute. No, I don't see anything there. Uh, Python request post. Request post. JSON. Post. JSON. Data. Do you want? JSON. Data. In five. So this is data. Post the files of data equals data. Data must be not a string. Okay. Files equals document. Oh. Let's try this. Why do the fans think you hate so much? There we go. Data is written, document three and that's the location. This files data is what data? Nothing. Okay. Really from data from them. 
files equals to index files. Yeah, we lied about it. Let's try. So just try to post in. Data is not defined. That's true. I don't want data. Data is already there in that. Email or username. And what do you have? Oh, email evolved to right. Evolved by Jason. So both of them. Actually, I don't need them here. Response 400, missing email or username. How can it be missing email or username? It is there, no? Let's see again, email is there. Same channel. Data. Hello, okay. I need to do a little bit more thing on this field. Can't leave you pressing this. All I'm trying to do is a post with, from a JSON file. So posting the JSON data is there as you payload is fine. But I'm trying to get from an external JSON file and put it there. So data is blocked. Good. Don't have data, that's fine. So that also should be okay. Not using this right now. Files equals to files. Just find out JSON response. This is what I'm getting. I'm supposed to get the right response for that data. Right, the same thing Let's try a different user, maybe. Mm, let's try a different post. Just send. Password is Christian. That's the only thing that the cost that can be more. Experiences. I have one more team. So, first, in the payload form, so let's say we have two words on this in single quotes because I've already used double quotes instead.
This is the sounds we're expecting visually. This is only one set of data here. Um, login, this is a login player slash users. Sure. It's not copying that in. Copying factors. Uses files equals to files. So if I say files equals to files, that's what failing. So if I say data equals to data two, it works fine for us. So we should be able to go in and get us the results. And let's work this. Yes. So we got two oh one. That's correct. Now I'm trying to send this as a JSON file. Sounds like something in the chat. Can you try using header and application JSON? Sure. Who is that? Use it. Oops. And then it's an the file. Let me do this then. So for the same one with the header I'm saying, which is application is chases and spent time. Connect. What did it print? Request response four hundred. That was what I was you know, thinking. Why is it not printing from the file? Maybe I I need to use more uh, data entry thing. Let me do one more session on API JSON a little bit. Finish a little bit more post code. Nothing should be good with that. 
one session next week too. Tell how we can get our JSON data into as a request from postman or from our code. We are good, but when we are posting it back there um, as a payload data that we see here in our script, it's fine. But I'm reading it from a JSON format file. I'm not seeing some success there. So data equals, why don't I say data also equals? It's not data. Have files in file one. Let's see. And then I'm going to try to redo the same. This phone that coming from that's the problem that I'm facing. Because I'm getting phone with error. Um, print is failing because there's no data there. There's no JSON data that's come up. And this is fine. So here, yeah, try the same, please, at your end. See what you can come up with over the weekend. I'll also look into it. It could be a very simple one, just in the format that I'm doing. Request dot post, and you are I'll try and search. Any questions, meanwhile, team? One more session. I don't know if it's going to be Monday, Tuesday. I'll plan it. Python request post. Using files. Okay, great. Um, I will open the document this and this is a file. See the difference here. Files file open example to JSON. This optimization, some optimization formats that open in the internal on this. And you are in this. There's no data so files and hidden. So anything I did is from document here, the type being. Change to file. Still doesn't. I'm not knowing where it's going wrong. Something. Is format okay here? Sometimes format not okay. That's a problem. Mm 
ఇవాళ్ళు ఇక్కడ హెడ్ ఫెస్ట్ డూ దిస్ basically act to give data equals open so and so and then this header as is and this data too and i somehow think maybe even without the header it should work let's see because there should be maybe a default component let's just this once you get the tune at this points then it will work the first one let's see what is the default header that we use this one okay uh, at least we could solve that uh, to talk about post and get and how we can do it within here team so predominantly it's more or less towards what we do team but let's have one more session so we can just play around a little bit can you practice on api json uh, with what you saw clean this code up make sure it's well organized for you for you in the future as well if you have a data then this could a file and that's good thing and we building a good set of repositories and so on i'll share the files also over the weekend i'll see you again next week for one more session team uh, let's plan for it in the sky thank you everyone by now have a great weekend bye all. Thank you, team.